Okay, so I've got my chocolate and I've got my water and we're going to make some more progress on Revolution today. Looking forward to it. I've got some fun new colors today. I've got a beautiful yellow, a green gold, and an Indian yellow hue. And these are the colors I'm going to implement into this painting, along with some blue. And uh, um, that's the fun part of the painting is, is every day I come to the canvas with, with a feeling of not quite being sure of, of what's going to happen. And I just sort of watch it unfold and kind of turn on the music and uh, everything just flows. It's not what I expected. It's really not. Um, I was thinking it would be more blue, but the gold and the green really spoke to me today, so so that's fine. That's fine and fun. And uh, I had intentions of, of this being a little bit more of an earth-related piece and of tucking little things into the mother's hair and having there be water and, but you know, um, it's become more, um, it's become more earth, but in a different term, more of, um, ground and grass and clay and, and just nature in general versus the earth or the globe. So I'm really happy with that. And it's funny, I just never am quite sure what's going to happen. I just sort of get into the process and I I'm sure you know how that feels and just kind of see see what happens and this is this is fun. It's not what I expected, but it's clearly what it needed to be. So I'm happy with it. And we're not done yet, of course. Almost as if we're never done. <laughs> I always know when it's done though. I just uh I just know. All of a sudden it's this message that's like stop now before you ruin this painting. So when I get that message, I'll certainly stop and we'll see what uh, this painting needs in the, next, in the next painting session. Sometimes I like to use little teeny brushes, even though, you know, traditionally it seems like you'd want to finish up with teeny brushes and just use them for the detail. And I suppose that's why I ruin a lot of teeny brushes, is because I like to use them 
in a big way. I like to uh, really use them to make little teeny brush strokes all over the painting, and that's not um, that's a newer thing for me. I used to just use them at the end, but now I like to get in there and sort of um, make the paint texture lively with them. Use them to make the texture show movement and activity. It's really fun.